Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and Spain. Here we are surrounded by flowers that nature hands us and we are thankful and we enjoy every moment. We are a bit overwhelmed now and then, but uh, so, it, so it is. Here we have the South African Feige. And the Ericus. And then some creepy rose. and then lots and lots of wildflowers. Beautiful. Here the gardener and the farmer are schlepping a drum to the pond. I wonder why. Crazy people. The last 20 meters will break our backs. This is heavy. Whoa. We collected some fauna and flora from a huge pond about the size of a football pitch just behind that hill. And here we are to inoculate our own pond. Let's celebrate this one. We were told there's a tortoise in there as well. Maybe it's in the other drums. Okay. Happy floating. I hope something comes from it. A big part of today we spent on uh, a production line to make these emitters with a 20 centimeter uh, thin pipe spaghetti and uh, it was quite a process and then we replaced the emitters we had in before with the ones with an uh, spaghetti extension attached and then we placed it neatly over the plants. At the trees we have two. And then we mulched it. And actually it's running. Okay, slowly dripping. So, that's a good feeling. We first unrolled this roll like this. And then one person was cutting. And other one was connecting it to the emitters. Then we realized we are too slow and it's too tedious and we are not very... Uh, efficient and then I place the stick through this reel and the gardener was pulling it that way so that went quickly and then the gardener would uh, measure it with a previously cut piece and then I would cut and that went very fast then we try to force the spaghetti onto this emitter and that was such a task. So I started reading up about polyethylene. The uh, peak point 
before it changes its structure permanently is 110 degrees Celsius. So I thought, let me do something. I brought these spaghetti pieces to the kitchen on the gas stove. I have the bottom of the coffee percolator. And then I would stick them in there, 50 at a time, a whole bunch. Place it a little bit off center that the heat doesn't reach the polyethylene pipe. And then I heat it until it's boiling and I just took them out as I needed it. And then I placed it onto the emitter very easily. And Bob is your uncle. Today was 30 degrees Celsius and one can notice the change. This uh, battleground between the Atlantic and the Sahara Desert and very noticeable layers of hot air and layers of cool air. And then uh, the grass is more crunchy and it's slowly drooping and flopping and on its way earthbound but that's all good we really enjoyed the beautiful time we had the rain now for the next season Here in the creek, this is the last of the moisture Soon this will all be dry It's amazing the areas in the shade It's almost not affected by the heat and the change in temperature only the parts of the land in full sunshine then I appreciate once again the need for shade and when somebody asked me what I really want to accomplish here I said I wanted to I want like to walk from one end of the farm to the other end in the shade so, maybe one day we will reach that. The Paulovnias are doing a great job. It's amazing. <coughs> this is only their second spring. And uh, they look like this. The oleander slowly showing its flowers time for us to collect some flowers and uh, have our own wild flower gardens wherever we would like it to be next year another beautiful day in paradise Till next time, goodbye.